Here is question 8. 5 sine x by 4 minus 4 equals to 0. And we need to solve it in the domain of 0 to 2 pi. Correct. So we can solve it and we can write this as sine of x over 4. Let's say first write 5 sine of x over 4 is equals to minus 4. Correct. We'll take this. And then we'll divide by 5. And so we get sine of x over 4 is equals to minus 4 over 5. Correct. And uh, now we can write down the possible solutions. For sine, possible solutions will be in quadrant 3 and 4 since this is negative, right? So our answers will be actually in quadrant 3 and 4. Let's say these are our solutions, right? And we need to find the, this angle, correct? And the other angle. So these are possible solutions. So first, let's find out our related acute angle. Let's find out this alpha first, related acute angle, right? So the related acute angle will be sine inverse. So this related acute angle will be sine inverse of 4 over 5, right? We'll consider the sine, that means negative, later. First, find let's find the related acute angle. So sine inverse of 4 divided by 5, let's figure out. Second operation, sine inverse within bracket 4 divided by 5 is equals to 0 0.9279. 0 0.9279. So 0 0.9279. So that's in radians, right? And that is sine inverse. And possible answers are... Uh, pi plus 0 0.9279 and 2 pi minus 0 0.9279. These are possible answers. But before writing actual answers, let's also check our domain, correct? Now, what is our domain? So if you see, let's write like this. If you see domain, then we domain is defined as x should be between 0 to 2 pi, correct? And our argument here is x divided by 4. So let's divide everything by 4. Let's divide everything by 4, correct? So in that case, it becomes x is greater than or equal to 0, but less than or equal to pi by 2. So that means our domain actually gets restricted between 0 and pi by 2. Do you see that? But our solutions for sine being negative is only in quadrant 3 and 4. Well, so that means in the given domain of 0 to pi by 2, we have no solution. Do you see that? No solution in the given domain. Correct? So that is kind of important. If I would not have checked this domain, then I would have given these answers. Correct? Which would have been wrong. Do you understand that part? So, actual answer for us is no solution. Since our solution does not exist in the given domain, do you understand? That is the most important thing and I think this question is very important for you to understand the importance of domain, right? So, that's kind of very critical. If you write down these as your answers, it'll be wrong, absolutely wrong since you have not considered the domain. Okay? Thank you.